Alright YouTube, today I'm going to be doing Claire's Xbox 66 Live with News and I'm going to be doing a collection video for my Xbox 360 games. So here's the first one. Race Driver Grid Classics Edition. It's quite good. Very, very hard though. It's not the best racing game. By my view it's definitely Burnout Revenge on the original Xbox. But this is a good game. Quite fun. Next game. Now this is one of my brother's games, but I played this because of the online. The online on this is very fun. The co-op as well. It's fun. So this is this is quite a fun game. You know, I've got like nearly every single Lego game. I like completing them 100% with like all the mini kits and all that stuff. It's very hard though. Um, the achievements on this are great. I got within about a week. I got about 200 game score out of this. Definitely pick this up if you want to get some easy achievements. <laughs> now, next one was one I got for Christmas. It was James Cameron's Avatar The Game, which is, it's alright. Not that, you know, it's not that amazing, but it's quite fun. The shooting's good and all the air, the aircraft's very well made and the map is massive. I would say it's bigger than, yeah, it's definitely about, tw maybe even three times, no, yeah, definitely about three times the size of the GTA 4 Liberty City map absolutely massive the open world you don't have to do missions sometimes you can just go out and slaughter the Navi so this is a very good game but not one of my best it was it was a good game but you know and this one I absolutely hate but my brother is addicted to it and um, this is the Disney Pixar's up the game yeah it's a piece of rubbish because the annoying thing is I have to share sometimes my Xbox with him either, even though it's mine and we agreed it's mine I did let him get one game and I thought he would get FIFA 10 um, but he got this which was kind of ridiculous then the next one is quite good it's Call of Jazz Band in Blood um, this was a decent game I'll show you the inside if you want you know it's got instructions manual obviously disc is in Quite good condition. The disc, the disc uh, was in the best condition I got, and it's incredibly shiny around there, as you can see. And, you know, all that. So yeah, that was a good game. But it's very repetitive and short-lived. The campaign's terrible. The only good bit is the online bit. So if you don't have your Xbox Live, then don't bother. Now this one, I got the Halo 3 ODST, and the thing that actually, the only thing that made me get this was my love of Halo and the fact that the box was really heavy. So I was wondering what inside, and I got a shizer load of stuff in there, and I loved it. It's like random stuff. I'll show you inside. You got this Xbox Live 48 hour gold trial thing. You got the instructions manual in this really cool way, and. And you got this thing, which not many people know, but if you can't see in the print down there, you actually have an invitation to go to the in fall, go and see Halo Legends. So this is actually a ticket in a cinema near you to see Halo Legends, um, which I've actually already seen, and it's quite good. You have to watch the final duel though on a big screen. The final duels are like the um, plasma axe and stuff like that, it's awesome. And the yay, my favourite, two discs. Came with the Halo 3 multiplayer, but I thought it would be different. But it was actually just the same as Halo 3. That was a bit annoying. And yeah. So that was quite... But I liked all the rest of the things with this. Probably my only game with two discs. I think. Alright. Oh, yeah. And plus, the annoying thing is, is, in one sitting, I got like halfway through the campaign. Which is bloody impossible because everything in the city is so dark and it's impossible to see. So yeah, I got this and then suddenly it didn't save. And I was like, you, what kind of sado invented a game that doesn't save itself, auto save? Yeah, then I've got the Halo 3 Classics and Best Sellers Edition. This is like one of the rarest, this is the rarest edition, Classics and Best Sellers. It's the one with like the dark green stuff. Oh, uh, this is awesome. I absolutely love this game. I played it probably about 20 hours of gameplay. No, maybe even 25 to complete the whole campaign. Very hard. Very hard. If you like very repetitive and hard campaigns on a game, then you will like this. But this is very hard, I warn you. Right, and then moving on to our next one. We have Half-Life 2 The Orange Box. Got five games, definitely the best deal in video gaming history. 
you get Half-Life 2 Episode 2, Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, Team Fortress 2, which is hilarious online, well, only online, but it's really fun. Um, Portal, which is a great game. I love Portal. It's incredible. It's impossible, though. It's so hard. I'm like, my, okay, my dad and my friend, they even wrote, no, sorry, not my dad, my da my friend's dad and his dad wrote to producers to say, is this, is Paul so even possible? Because the final mission where you have to complete, like, the massive thing, the, the guy that talks to you, it's impossible. This game, Fable 2, is a very good RPG, if you like RPGs. Um, this one was pre-owned, so it was a little bit scrappy, and I have to say, the, uh, it's got this annoying sticker thing on. And yeah, it's quite good. And it's got this. I'm not sure if you can see that, but the where like there, there's a quite a big scratch. It still works, but it's a big scratch there, and it's worn away like the paint job on the front. So that was kind of annoying. But it's a very, very fun RPG. I put about 30 hours of gameplay into this, and I got bored of it. But only after about 30 hours, which is actually quite a lot, because it did get repetitive after a while, and the missions were just getting more boring and boring. Then. We have, as you can see, I'm an Arkham sign. This is my second most treasured, as you know, joint fur. No, sorry, yeah, my second most treasured game. Okay, I've got one over there that you're not going to see yet. Um, Batman Arkham Asylum. It's absolutely awesome stealth um, beat em up kind of game. And, um, it's so cool, actually, everything about it. Because um, I have my NES up in the attic. It is better than Ninja Guide on there, which is like considered the best beat em up. But this is actually awesome. This game is the definition of awesomeness. This game is so cool. Now for my most treasured game, sickest game like ever. I gave up Modern Warfare 2, I'm not joking. I stopped playing Modern Warfare 2. I traded in for this because I didn't have enough money. Battle Fear Bar Company 2 Limited Edition. This is the, one of the sickest, this has to be the sickest first person shooter of the sixth generation consoles by far. Beats COD 4 Modern Warfare 2 by a billion miles. Modern Warfare 2 is just a piece of rubbish. This game is absolutely awesome. The only bad thing is I haven't figured out how you play online on it yet. If somebody, yeah, can somebody comment and tell me how you play online because it said I didn't have functionality. But yeah, this is my most treasured game. Yeah, the campaign is the most awesome thing ever. It's absolutely awesome. The weapons are so cool. It's just the most awesome game. And I got like the special edition, so you get to see, you get all of this stuff. I'm not showing you code, blah blah blah. You know, it's an awesome game. I absolutely love it. So there you have my collection of Xbox 16s. It's quite small because I only got it for Christmas.